Manchester United 2, Perth Glory 0. The first game of pre-season for Manchester United ends in a comfortable victory for Manchester United. Now, we've changed, we've had two different lineups from first to second half in this game. And from both halves, it has been absolutely dominant from Manchester United. It really has. The Perth Glory could barely get out of their own half for nearly all of this game, but the I mean, the positives are Manchester United have scored two goals in the second half, eventually worn the the Australian outfit d down, and we've got the job job done. What we the fitness levels, getting the players fit, which is the main aim of this preseason. But it's nice to see a lot of players get minutes in in this in this sort of game. But Manchester United really struggling to break them down first half, which was worrying from Manchester United because we've seen this. A lot from Manchester United that was struggled to break these sort of teams down. Now that wasn't really a starting lineup that I would want to see on the first game of the season for Manchester United, but it's it's play a lot of them players will be playing for Manchester United next season. We've still got the likes of Ashley Young, Jones, Matic playing in there that probably shouldn't be starting games for Manchester United. We've also got had a front three of James, Marshall and Lingard, which to me just doesn't offer goals. It really doesn't. There's no goal threat there really from them front three and you had Chong as well involved as well in this game but not enough goals from them for really what if if Manchester United play play them players in abundance next season but I think we're going to struggle to score goals because you don't really see James had a, had a decent game in the first half causing a lot of problems with his pace maybe he would have been better utilized in the second half though because they did I think start to tire a bit in the second half but we did have some pace in the second half from the likes of Rashford and Greenwood coming on as well. So overall, it, it was decent. But I think we're going to really, if we play the likes of James, Marshall and Lingard and even Ch Chong, I'm not sure any of them players are going to get a lot of goals next season, which is going to be a bit of a worry if Lukaku goes and we don't replace him. Because whereas Rashford's input in terms of goals may increase, where else are the goals in that final th front three, whoever we play, are going to come from? I mean, second half, we got the goal through Marcus Rashford, the first one, which was a nice goal from him. And then we missed an absolute sitter from Mason Greenwood. I couldn't believe he missed it, to be honest. He puts them away in his sleep in the in the reserves and under and under 18s, and he, he somehow fucked it up, which was probably the most kick-in-the-balls thing of the, of the game. It really was, because that would have done in the world of confidence. Missed a few chances against Cardiff on the last out the season but the only positive is that he is getting the chances and I'm sure eventually he will start putting some away and the, the second goal coming from substitute in the second half had only been on a few minutes James Garner a nice strike but I think they were tiring so if the game had gone on any longer I think it would have been a few more but it is disappointing we didn't put more ch more more away and create more chances in that final third we didn't really I think test the goalkeeper absolutely enough as we should have done in this game and that, that could well come back to all Manchester United again next season. I really do think so. That second half, we saw a front three of academies of Rashford, Gomez and Greenwood, which was nice to see. I thought I thought that Gomez was causing them quite a lot of problems. I, I thought he did, he did well in that second half. I really did. And that does bode well for, for the future for Manchester United. I don't think he is really a front three man. But it seems that Solskjaer and Jose Mourinho the pre previously... When, when bringing him on in games, have, have brought him on in, an, in a wider area, in a front three in one of the wide areas, which I don't think that's really his his game. I think he's better suited in the middle of the park, but we'll have to see where he goes sometimes when players come through. Like we've seen Juan Bissaka, who looked fantastic when he came in the second half, was, was a forward attacking player and moved further back in, in his career, but I don't see really Gomez playing more in that forward position, but he did have one strike in the second half, Gomez, and I think I think he's a very good player, can, can certainly pass a ball, very, very good. Maybe physicality, people are still saying he's small, but he, he will get fouled a lot if given given game time in the Premier League. So that is one thing that, that Manchester United will, will find out. We could win a lot of dangerous free kicks if Gomez is given the opportunity for Manchester United. Well, anyway, we've, we've seen that. The positive, obviously, James Garner getting that goal. Nice strike from outside the box in the second half. Doesn't get too many goals for the reserves, but... It doesn't always work that way. When you move up the ladder, we've seen with with uh, Marcus Rashford in the in the striking 
in the forward position, was more of a number 10 player in the in the under 18s but wasn't getting the prolific numbers that some other players like say, James Wilson and Mason Greenwood have got for Manchester United's under 18s but Rashford's gone on and, and still scored the same roughly the same amount of goals maybe not quite as many in the first team so it doesn't always always made that made that out the, the way forward James Garner can maybe add goals to his game in the future given given time but still only 18 but that will do him the world of confidence going in and hopefully you can get some more minutes against Leeds in the next one so let me know your thoughts on this hopefully some more signings will obviously come in due course as well but the positives also Axel Tuan Zabe I thought was fantastic in the first half could be a hell of a player for Manchester United but he was a positive obviously James Garner getting his goal Gomez J Daniel James having a, having a decent game was, was all was all positive so Although there is a lot of negatives around Manchester United at the moment, I'm just trying my best to look for the positives. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.